Hello, Sky fans. My name is Tyson Fury. I am the Gypsy Warrior. I am from my mother, and I'm a fighter. <laughs> no. Uh... Right. You've never fought a Gypsy King before, have you? You've never fought a King before. You're looking at one of your pals, me. You know, characters are for cartoons and movies. This is reality. Call me a clown! 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 Common sense in boxing, if you want to be noticed, you've got to do outrageous things and controversial things. People ain't remembered for the great fights they had. It's the controversy surrounding the fight most of the time. Listen, I'm the man in these shows, me. There's no other heavyweights apart from me. They're only ever asking me. If you're going to be a boxer, you need to be a notice one. And to be a notice one, you've got to do different things. What are you going to do or say that is going to make you different to the rest? And for me, it's just been my outspoken personality, not really caring the consequences of what I say. And everything I say, going in there and backing it up. Klitschko is getting KO'd. You know, when you've got two very vocal fighters... I'm going to make you eat your words. And one's unbeaten and one's a glamour of the division, then it's definitely going to make for a, a fight that people's interested in. This is a Tyson Fury show. Forget about him, he's a nobody. Welcome to my city, welcome to my town, UK, baby. Hey, hey, hey! I've just turned up today asking to say, can uh, Tyson come in? Everyone's made up, like, big buzz, like, you know what I mean? All the lads working away, like, <laughs> so we're having a uh, real good buzz. Oh, what, what sort of stuff do you want me to come out saying? Mate, your... The floor's yours. Floor's yours. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to show you what I wrote. It's all so, yeah, you know, yeah. You know, <laughs> if you want to... Look at that. That was quite good, actually. Young, good-looking, beaten or something. Yeah, yeah it's the usual chat. But this first one, you don't have to say anything. But address just Vlad, walking, walking first person. Vladimir, you're this, you're that. Are we going to put you right back? You sort of come out, out, of the, out of the shadows, into, yeah. into the light. Yeah. Cheating can happen. Yeah. 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 No. That's why I'm a fighter, not an actor. Sometimes I act to be a tough guy, though. And I also act to be a good boxer. Talk to him like he's listening. Vladimir. Talk to him like he's listening. Vladimir. Action, Tyson. Vladimir, you're 40 year old. How can you beat me, 27 year old? You're getting knocked out, mate. I'm the man, I'm the king. You're going to sleep. You're a fool. A has been. An old man. Oh, he loves it. He should have been a movie star, shouldn't he? You know, because he loves this more than boxing, I think, you know, but it's one of them. It's interfering with his rest period, you know what I'm saying? But now, it, these next few weeks are very important, and it's timing, precision and everything, and he should be resting now. But things have to be done, don't they? You've got to do a job, and he's got to play his part. It's all part of the same thing, isn't it? But we could do it being over as quick as possible, to be honest now. Boom! My outlook on the boxing is we're not actually going to fight until we're both in the ring, exchanging leather. Until that day, I'm just training for a supposed fight that could happen. I remember just calling up the um, travel agents saying, right, book me a ticket to Detroit, Michigan. <laughs> and then the next day, I went over to uh, the Cronk gym and just turned up out of the blue. And it was like, I walked into the gym and uh, it was like, what are you doing here? Who are you? So I said, listen, I said, I've come over to train with Emmanuel Stewart. I said, I'm Tyson Fury, best heavyweight on the planet. Within five minutes, I was back at his house. Unplanned. You'll get knocked spark out, Vladimir. Million percent. Wicked. <laughs> Boys, get together quickly. Cheers, guys. You just told me you weren't an actor. I've just seen you turn it on big time. You know, I'm a dark horse. I'm an underdog. I can do a bit of everything, I suppose. There's not much that I can't do. What can I say? Some people like me and some people like to hate me, even though they've never met me or don't know me. It's just the, um, the cocky, arrogant, confident person who, who, who doesn't believe that anybody can beat him. 
when you've got that persona about you that nobody can beat you, sort of like everybody wants to see you lose because I told you so. Everyone can get beat, but you know, as long as you believe that you are unbeatable, I believe you will be unbeatable. I don't know what's going on in here. It's become a circus. <laughs> this is all part of the job. It's uh, we still managed to do our regime, and they've managed to work around us. So uh, Sky Team has done brilliant. We still got our work in. It's not affected us at all. We've done what we had to do today, and now um, we'll get on with the 12 rounds of sparring. They'll train Monday to Friday, three times a day. Saturday, just a long run in the morning, up the mountains in Windermere, in the Lake District, which he enjoys. And then that's it, then he'll go home, he'll rest up all day Saturday, all day Sunday, back here, ready for Monday morning. I think a lot of people will buy into this fight because I think they believe Tyson Fury is he's similar height to Klitschko, he's unknown goods, it's an intriguing fight. And if anybody can do it, Tyson can do it, and I think people will pay to see an upset. There's no pressure on me in this fight. I can only do what I can do. I'm only a man with two arms and two legs, just like he is. And if he can beat me, he beat me. If I can beat him, I beat him. There's no big, great shakes about it. You can build a fight up into something that it really ain't, but really what it is, it's two men made of blood and bone in a boxing ring punching each other. Okay, it's a wrap. It is a wrap. We're getting out of your way. Take a shower now, Tyson. Take a shower. Okay. Okay. Don't make your guts out with that speech. <laughs> <laughs> you can't look past Klitschko because he is the best in the division. Klitschko's the man. They're saying he's one of the greatest heavyweights of all times, and I can't argue with that because, look, he's, he's had so many successful title defences, but he's fighting someone who's been boxing all of his life and, and knows about the sport, knows it inside out. And who ain't frightened of him? I ain't frightened of Klitschko. I ain't, I ain't bothered about getting it. I've been it before. So what? I've only done two sessions today. So. Murder. Murder sparring. <laughs> Boom! Nothing works when it's all in slow motion. Where do you think I'm getting? On a scale of one to ten, I'd probably give that a three for the one for getting in the ring, two for strapping on the gloves, and three because of the night rounds, but nothing more, nothing less. Oh, he has a power, he has a style, he has a really irritating style, a uh, real style that moves around a lot, and he's real cagey too, he can really get into your head. It's like uh, the gypsy power, I guess. <laughs> it is what it is. Just got to work it out, you know, just got to keep going and keep getting through. That's it, really. Try not to get knocked out, basically. That's it. The big guys swung in hard punches. I never really thought I was any good or bad at boxing. I just done it because I like to do it. Decided that I was going to have a couple of amateur fights or whatever, and it just went on from there. I had 36 amateur fights in total. Lost four. Knocked out 26. But boxing for a plastic cup or a medal doesn't really tickle my fancy. It's all about getting paid for getting punched in the face. That! I've earned me shot, so I'm going to take it, aren't I? I probably deserve it more than anybody out there in the heavyweight division because I fought three world title eliminators and numerous champions and stuff, so who deserves it more than me? Nobody. I'm mandated by two organisations, WBO and WBA mandatory number one, so I'm here, I'm ranked, I'm where I want to be. They've done about 50 minutes uh, running up here. You can see the type of road they're running on. Every minute they've got to get down, do burpees, squat thrusts, star jumps. So we do it with them till they get to the top. 
it's, it's very, very gruelling. You know, there's no harder work than this, especially after five days, three sessions a day, five day a week regime. You know, this is a Saturday morning and believe me, this takes everything out of you. But we're not training for no ordinary feat here. We're training for a trench warfare. You know, we want to know we've covered everything. You know, we, we've got a lot of history with this place. At the bottom of this hill now this morning, I've got my brother's gravestone being made and I'm going to see the final touches of it. So when I go back down from me and I'm looking at that gravestone to get my brother's stone up, you know, we're from this northwest. You know, and this Lake District holds special memories for me. You know, a life without responsibility, a life of just roaming around without, without worries about how you look, what clothes you're wearing, what car you're driving, how you're going to pay your bills. How, what kind of life would that be? These are just here, roaming around this beautiful nature reserve, eating grass, drinking fresh water. Does it come any better, really, when you think about it? Because this is just natural beauty. Uh, I love, actually, no matter how bad I feel all week, yeah, I don't care if I'm crawling off that canvas and I'm busted, eyes are swollen, everything. I come here and it just gives me that much lift and boost. This is my favourite part of the week, actually, getting up early in the morning, five, six o'clock, getting down here and getting out there. Now, he'll go home now, he'll relax with his family, have a nice 24 hours rest, 48 hours, whatever it is, and uh, back Monday morning. I've had two uncles train me. That's it, properly. I've had my uncle Huey train me from the beginning, up until I was the British and Commonwealth champion. And then after that, I, um, Peter trained me. Strangers and me don't work. I couldn't work with any other trainer than my own family because I just don't listen to them. We're not interested in who's getting what percentage and whatever. We're in it to win it. We're not Peter's and meat. It's me uncle, it's me cousin, it's me, it's me own family. Everybody wants me to win. This is the man who was responsible for getting in where he is today. In there. Listen, that's what blood's for. You don't forget. Don't forget your family dear. And he needs uh, full credit for everything he done. I learned to be a professional boxer with Huey. Went from being an amateur slapper inside the glove hitting to turning knuckles down properly and sitting down on the shots to become a professional fighter, basically, rather than jibbing and jabbing, scoring points. Yeah, he made, he made, he made me the, the transition into the professional ranks and uh, it was very successful as well with you. And things like this make you appreciate life even more because sometimes you take it for granted, you complain about this, that, and like I said up on the hill before, we ain't got no problems to complain about. There's people out there in, in worse estates than any of us, so no matter how down you get and how sad you become, there's always somebody worse off than yourself, isn't there? So you just take every day, one day at a time, and enjoy it. Uh, I believe he'll be there with me in spirit, and uh, we'll do it, and we'll win. We met at a wedding, not a big fat gypsy wedding, just so you know, um, but we met at a wedding and one of his aunties, which is someone I knew, she introduced me to Tyson, but at the time Tyson looked the exact same as he does now and I was 15. So we said hello and then goodbye and then we bumped into each other a couple of times afterwards and then at my 16th birthday we sort of hit it off from there and then from there we went out and we've been together since. Get off, get off, get off. Get off. Marriages are not easy, are they, you know? There's, there's ups and downs in every relationship. I'm not gonna lie and say, oh, ours is perfect, because probably far from it. Tyson's trying to look good on camera, by the way, showing off his chef skills. But we still love each other and we've got two beautiful kids. We're going strong. We've lost a couple of kids on the way um, as well, so we should have had a few more, but we didn't. So it's, uh, we've got two, so we're still blessed to have two, but we'd like ten, or five, or four, or whatever many God gives us. I fight for them because I want to give them a good life and give them opportunities that I never had. I'd like my son to go and get a proper education rather than 
than fighting for a living. And while I'm at home, I'm a family man. It's about Disney characters, all good stuff, fairy tales and adventures, while it lasts, because we all know it doesn't last forever, does it? You know, life doesn't, it's not a fairy tale, is it? To adults, but to kids it can be. So that's, what, that's why I keep going back to Disneyland and all crazy things like that. We went for a walk, um, it was meant to be a two minute walk, it ended up being about a three hour walk. We walked down the beach and back round and we ended up on the beach, but it was getting dark by this time, the sun was setting. But the kids found this thoroughly amazing, like they thought they was on like a complete nature trail and who could find a stone and who could find a shell, and they loved it. This is my boxing gloves. Some do, don't they? What, what do you do with boxing gloves? Box. How do you box? I'm very proud of who I am, you know. I come from a long line of travellers who, who fight and, you know, and I took it that step further. I don't care for living in a trailer, a house, a mansion, a castle. It doesn't really mean anything to me, it just is what it is. I could adapt easily to where I am down there in the caravans or living here, it doesn't really matter. It wouldn't surprise me if we ended up back in trailers or in the middle of, I don't know, Antarctica with Tyson. He's always got a new master plan. He's always telling me he's going to do something different. <laughs> All right. Sometimes it's not nice to go on because it breaks your routine, puts you in a different mindset, and you've got to reset when you come back again. Sometimes it's better just to stay in camp. One minute I can be nice, next minute I can be the devil, next minute I can be an angel. I, you may well see a hundred different types of me throughout a day. I am aware of it because I can easily go into a dip mode. I've not had no low days in about ten days. And I don't think I'll be having any more low days anymore anyway. Because, basically, I've got a, a method of keeping happy. And it might sound daft, but I just take one hour at a time, and every time I feel sad, or feel like going in a dip mode, I just do the whoop-whoop effect. Which is what? Which is, if you're feeling sad and you're feeling in a bad mood, all you've got to do is whoop-whoop, loud as you can, three times, yeah? And then you'll put a smile on your face or you'll end up laughing because it's impossible not to do the whoop whoop effect and not smile. We was at Liverpool and uh, we, was, we was going to stay there, but obviously the fight got called off, so um, we ended up back here, which I'm happy with. It's worked out better for us in the end. Go! <coughs> Come on, Dad, smash it into me! You'll hurt yeah. yourself! Hit me like a man! Come on! Yeah. 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 All the camps have been successful with sparring, pad work, technique, tramp conditioning work. I've come on more in this camp than I have the last one because I had a bit of a flu and I wasn't feeling good and I was cutting lots of weight and I was feeling drained and tired. So what he didn't know, it was a blessing in disguise to give me another four or five weeks rest and recuperation and training again. Yeah. Help on to the hero. He's having a hard camp, hard spars. He knows what he's in for, and this is what he, this is what's going to have to take to beat somebody like Klitschko. No, that's it. No. Get in! No! See, I'm in charge. I want to be in charge because you're an idiot. Dad, shut up and say no! Now. Next! You're going to get cut, you idiot! I don't care! What about two of them? You're going to have to get stopped tomorrow. Forget about it. No. That's it. You want to do it? Come on, come on. No problem, jump in. You know what? This is stupid. When he gets a 10 inch cut over, his eyes can't defend himself. Just hang on a minute, you set the clock. It's a spark, come on! Come on, come on. Keep Come on! I am into charge of your own life. You're just being stupid, though. Listen, I'll tell you what about an awful lot of am I? You want to save it for the night, don't you? No. Got five weeks left. Whatever's meant to be, it's meant to be, Dad, though, isn't it? Listen, if I'm meant to get caught and not fight, that'll happen. Like I said, it's all meant to be. Listen, hard work, got to put it in. It's normal, John's his dad, he's seen his son get it up and down and taking these shots when he's tired, and his dad just pressing, you know, it's, it's a parent thing, just expressing his feelings for his child, you know, his concern, you know, Tyson, it's his son. 
this is professional boxing at a very high level and uh, the sparring was good for me. All these little bits and pieces make the fighter excel on the night. Forget what you see in the sparring. It's all little bits and pieces of the jigsaw being put together. Hi, Mappy, what I'm seeing. And on the night, you will see the finished product. Time to shine. Reward time. You know, it doesn't come any bigger, does it, than the heavyweight championship of the world. This is what we've been working towards for the last seven years, from 20 to 27. I finally got the man I really wanted, and it's dream come true. Really happy, contented and motivated. Relaxed and quietly confident. Of course I am. I've got to be, because if I'm not confident, then I'm going over to get a hell of a beating, am I, in Germany, knowing I can't win on points already. So if I'm not confident in knocking him out, I've lost and take a beat in as well. So what's the point? I obviously am confident, I'm confident that I'm gonna win. I'm winning style as well. And if I do, I do. The way I look at why I'm not bothered about it is because I can't really do much about it. I can only do what I can do. If I win, I win. If I don't, I don't. I can't really do much. I can only train, eat, sleep right, and do, do the best I can, and be the best for me. Be the best person I can be for myself. That's it. Win, lose, or draw, I'll know I'll put everything in. Fighting Vladimir Klitschko, so called super champion. Go! He's got a boxing, he's got a punching, he's got a jabbing and moving, and he's got a tangling men up, and he's got a knocking people out. Everybody's got weaknesses, he, all said and done, he's only a man. It just depends if Tyson's good enough to expose them weaknesses. He knows what it's like to lose. But you know, anything can go wrong in boxing, anything can happen in boxing, you know. Heavyweight boxing, you're one punch away from disaster or glory at any time. In, them 12 rounds. When they put them gloves on, they're like two pieces of concrete. When you're hit, you're hit. This fight is Tyson's to lose. If he sticks to what he's doing, stays mentally focused, then he can come out on top. We've seen him be knocked out three times. He's not invincible, is he? Listen, I've got to go over there, land it on his jaw, that's it, it's over. I ain't going over there to play or come second best. I'm going over there to win. <laughs>